hello guys you're welcome back to my channel my name is tessie good morning good afternoon and good evening to you all depending on where you are watching from hope you all are doing well and thank you so much for stopping by my people come and see nigeria wonder <coughs> nigerians are in shock as another new buhari surfaced online it was announced on the 15th of February that uh, President Muhammad Buhari will be traveling to uh, Belgium, Brussels, for EU summit. Only for Nigerians to wake up and see another different Buhari <laughs> online. With so many people saying that this is not Buhari, why others are saying that uh, Mazen Nam the Kano may just be right, that Buhari is long dead. So just before most of you will come for me or say this is a Photoshop, this picture was posted by government of nigeria you can see this is their uh, twitter handle uh verified twitter handle they posted this picture 11 44 17th of february 2022 so this picture is coming from government of nigeria just before i read out the article and some reaction from nigerians for you guys please if you are just watching for the first time or you've been watching without subscribing please do us a favor by clicking on the red subscribe button down below to subscribe also on the notification button in that way anytime we upload a new video they will notify you and i pray that the same way you all are supporting us here in this channel god will definitely send people that will support you in whatever you are doing in life in jesus name amen this news i read president muhammad Buhari is currently in belgium and has left tongues waging after rare photos of him hit the internet on the sideline of the eu african union summit in Brussels. Belgium, President Muhammad Buhari wore a casual and fashionable style. When he greeted in audience the president of Guinea-Bissau, H.E. Omaru Siseko Mbalo. Okay, so let's take some reaction for you guys. Mm. Are you sure this is Buhari because this person doesn't look like the man we all knew that entered Asorok? My sister, if you ask me, who I go ask? Eh, hey, someone here says, see Nigerian president. All right. Um, we have a statement there that said, laughing out loud, this one is just bailing and chilling. Why Nigerians are suffering and smiling. Someone here says, Mazin Nam the Kano might be right that Buhari is dead. Whoa, chinos and shirt is good on Bubu. I bet if he changed his dress tie, he will be thinking like a nigger. How did we even get to have this kind of man as our president self? Them hypnotized Nigerians answer. All right. Someone here says, fake British cloned president of Nigeria. Zoo Nigeria, stop deceiving yourselves. Pull off shirt and remove the mask. <laughs> All right, Baba, we are black. Oh, this guy is getting fat. The new guy. Someone here says no power supply, no jobs, no health care, no security. 13 million Nigerian children are out of school, with 10 million from the north, where he is gallivanting all over the world with no shame. You and Osi Banjo are disgraced to Africa. All right, someone here says, can we all now agree that this government was and is still fraud? Buhari Yahoo Nigerians, big time. Someone here says, please get him a tattoo, please. <laughs> After subjecting Nigerians to hardship, all right, a bucky with that conscience, kindly tell your counterpart there is no petrol in your damn country, which you have ruined in the last seven years his handlers are cursed you people know very much that this man is fraudulent kept in asorok as nigerian's president the country is speedily spiraling down to an unfortunate end yet people are still posturing and calling this man a president god will judge all of you someone here says fake british clone mask president of zoo nigeria show us your real face and stop deceiving millions of nigerians yusuf mohammed by name all right 
Someone here says, when I first saw the piece, I thought it is Photoshop. Thank God, though. Thank God you saw it from government of Nigeria because some people like you will still be on the comment section of my video now calling me fake news, saying fake news. This man is really openly and showing his true colors. He now know what his future will be like. Enjoying our young man because life J await you and your co-travelers. Someone here says, is this Buhari or his twin? The man some people claim to be Jubri of Sudan. I don't believe this. The man that refused to die when Sevra wishes him dead as if their own life. Someone here says, this is not Buhari, this is Jubrin. The summit expected to last two days will present a unique opportunity to lay the foundations for a renewed and deeper AU-EU partnership with the highest political involvement based on trust and a clear understanding of mutual interest. African and European leaders are expected to discuss how both continents can build greater prosperity. The aim is to launch an ambitious Africa-Europe investment package taking into account global challenges such as climate change and the current health crisis. This meeting, summoned by President Muhammad Buhari, is to decide Nigeria's position and strategies as well as areas of interest at the summit. This president is going to focus on um, the roundtable on uh, peace, security and governance. That's obviously a very important area. Uh, for us. We need uh, EU support uh, and assistance with funding. The African Union, for instance, has a peace fund. ECOWAS um, has an anti-insurgency fund and um, where we want a billion dollars, um, you know, and of course we're having some issues with governance. We heard today that France, for instance, is pulling out uh, of Mali. So, um, so we need to engage with the EU uh, to um, really support across the board all the um, uh, efforts and uh, strategies that we as a continent and also at the sub-regional level ECOWAS and at the national level Nigeria uh, have in place for um, security challenges and uh, for peace building. Nigeria's interest is to uh, have a stronger health system, uh, not only in delivery but also in preparedness and in capacity to manufacture and be more self-sufficient. We are uh, asking for capacity to manuf manufacture vaccines, to improve the basis for pharmaceuticals and uh, local production of pharmaceuticals and even medical devices so that we can be more self-sufficient and also uh, even commodities that we are using like the masks we are wearing now we don't necessarily want all of them to be imported because in times of crisis it's difficult to be able to get your hand on personal protective equipment so the opportunity of this um, outbreak is to strengthen your health system the system itself and also the industrial base that supports the health system. Nigeria's interest is for us to get funding to be able to back our climate adaptation and mitigation measures. And if you recall, Nigeria and Africa included, we are not the greatest emitters. So it's a question of emitter pace is the industrialized the world that has brought the climate crisis to this level. And we've been partnering with the AU not only in climate change, but also in biodiversity conservation.